Welcome back to E3 2018. Now we're checking out which games Activision is showing off here at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Five games are Activision showing off and these are the games. One of the biggest games here at E3 is Destiny 2 and the new DLC Forsaken. So I don't want to spoil too much. You can check out the story trailer Activision presented at the press conference from Sony. But there is a new PvP mode coming. It's called Gambit. And it's very important to check your power level for PvP because it matters in Gambit. So there is some kind of killing streak you can own with some light points you can, you can gather and it feels like Activision is, is, is hardly working with Bungie together to, to, to make those end content in Destiny 2 more, more valuable. So I think Forsaken could be, could be a fresh start for players reaching the max level in Destiny and, and continuing forward and not only grinding to new level but, but to check out new content and maybe there is a big story part that makes Forsaken very cool. This is one game we definitely need to talk about. It's Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And for the first time, Call of Duty has no single player campaign. So Activision completely focus on the multiplayer experience. And I think it's a great way for a new Call of Duty because to be honest, the multiplayer part was the heart and soul of the game and the single player campaign in the last games were not as great as in the beginning. So one big change in the multiplayer will be tactical gameplay. So you will be forced to play together with your team, except deathmatch, this will work as you know. But if you work together with a team, you need, you need to focus, you need to, you need to talk to your teammates. And I think that this tactical part is very important for the multiplayer of Call of Duty Black Ops 4, because in the past, Call of Duty was a game you just throw in and you played some games and that's it. But right now Activision tries to, to, to make more out of it, of it, to make it more competitive. And this is a really, really great start for a new Black Ops game. Heels coming. Eat this! Destiny and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 are those two games Activision is featuring very big at their booth. But there are more games that are not showing off to public, like Sekiro Shadow Die Twice, a new game from From Software. It's a little bit like the Dark Souls series, but it's much more faster. Like Bloodborne was faster than Dark Souls, it seems like Sekiro is much, much faster and more action paced than the classic Soul games. And of course, there's the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and the new Spyro Collection. Sadly, we cannot show you anything because they are only showing the games behind closed doors. So that's it from Activision's booth. Check out our Facebook page if you want to win an epic gaming chair from Noble Chairs or Far Cry 5 or Assassin's Creed Origins. See you, take care, bye bye.